Hello there, my Libra Collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, Libras? You can ring my bell, ring my bell. Libras. What's going on, Libras? Libras, it's the moon card and the seven of cups. There's a lot of illusion and confusion and, and uh, some of y'all just need to set things out until you, the dust settles and the smoke clears, okay? Uh, God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil. As is my beautiful Libra collective. Libras, what's going on in your energy, Libras? Let's tap in. Libras, what's going on in your energy? Some of y'all have your back to an emperor here. So some of y'all could be dealing with the Aries. You could be in disagreement with somebody. Someone could have a decision to make, and maybe you're just not dealing with them until they make a fucking decision. Okay, Libras. Well, I was thinking of a song, but I can't think of it. It's a theater song. Both sides. Both sides of the story. Both sides now. Both. It's something like cups both sides now. You got to look at things a little differently. 144 on the clock, as I said, that's a full card. Nine of Wands. King of Pentacles. So someone's a little apprehensive. Um, they're very stubborn. This person is stubborn. This person is wounded. So this is probably someone that you've dealt with before. They see you just going off and being happy, Libra. Uh, free and unencumbered here. Going on a new journey. Not being afraid to take that journey by yourself. So this does almost feel like a, a partnership, a relationship. But this person is very fucking stubborn. Right? We had the emperor there. Uh, two of pentacles. Someone couldn't make a decision. So maybe you just said, well, you know what? I'll make it for you. Boop. And off you went. Right? Uh, nine of uh, Wands here at the King of Pentacles is the Empress. Uh, you had a fake Emperor. Two of Swords. You had a fake Emperor. A true Emperor and Empress energy, guys and gals. It's very free-flowing. There's no uh, codependency there. So some of y'all are dealing with a very uh, fake-ass Emperor. Uh, Page of Wands. Yeah, you blocked this person. This is someone you're not dealing with anymore. They're watching you, though. Queen of Cups. So this person could have emotions. They could have feelings. That's all good, right? But, uh, you know, they were a fake emperor. Or empress. This person wanted to kind of... Uh, you know, they thought that you were part of their kingdom. You know what I mean? This person thought they could control you, which emperors and empresses don't control each other. They can rule their own fucking kingdom, right? So you get a fake-ass emperor or a fake-ass empress in there trying to tell the emperor or the empress what to do. There's going to be a big old fuck you. I don't think so. I got my own kingdom to run. You, I don't care what the fuck you do, right? That's how you know if it's a fake emperor or a fake empress. Mm. But it's a stubborn ass energy here. Um, maybe this person just don't know how to communicate. Uh, maybe they fucked up to the point that you don't want nothing to do with them. I feel like you just walk the fuck away. You're this empress energy. Right? That emperor thought they could control you and you're just like, oh, I don't fucking think so. Bye. Right? Above this, the devil. Yeah, it was a very codependent. Y'all met a fake-ass emperor or an empress, okay? They thought you were part of their sort of kingdom. There's also the energy of whatever you had going on. This person thought they could come in and try to tell you how to do, how to run your own fucking kingdom, right? Uh, fake emperors and empresses will do that, guys and gals. Emperors and empresses take care of their own shit. 
right? They don't need someone else to come in and tell them what the fuck to do, unless they're paying somebody for that information, right? So you meet somebody and they're, they just, it's like they just want to claim more territory. And a lot of you, if you allow this connection to happen, they are going to take whatever the fuck is yours too. You definitely ain't dealing with this person. So you, you kind of, you know what the fuck they're about. They're very stingy. They just want more, 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 more. So when they met you, they just wanted to take more and more and more away from you, right? So uh, even when it comes to finances, right? You realize this person was just trying to amass a lot, but they would take other people's as being theirs as well. So you kind of set things straight with this person. You're like, I don't fucking think so. In case you don't know, I'm the empress here. I'm the emperor here. I got my shit on my own. I don't need you to come in and take my shit. That's the fake-ass emperor or empresses. Very codependent situation here. The magician. What covers the justice and the magician? The uh, king of wands. Feminines, you had to go into masculine mode. You had to deal with this person, like, straight up. So, they could have been, they could have been rather condescending when it came to women, Libra, to be quite honest with you. If this was a fake-ass emperor and this empress uh, coming together, this emperor could have thought, well, no, your woman can't have that, right? How dare you have more than me? How, how do you know how to do that? And th this person could have been, you know, maybe they just thought that uh, you should have been... Oh, you bow, you bow down. But this person thought you should just let them have complete control over what the hell you had. So whatever you had going on, this person wanted like, uh, they probably immediately wanted you to sign shit over in their name. They wanted access to all of your shit. Uh, they would spend your shit before they would spend theirs. So, oh, see, even Jackie. Like, yeah, that's why you had to get King of Wands on this person. And you move the fuck away. You, you, you literally... Use that King of Wands on this person. They know that shit. So, I'm tired of this fucking person. So, you all know a true emperor or an empress isn't going to try to come in and take over, uh, you know, your sort of kingdom, so to speak, right? They're going to let you do what you do, and they're going to focus on what they have. And then together, you know, you'll make collective decisions. So, some of y'all met a fake-ass emperor or empress. They didn't have shit. Yeah, there's that moon card, that confusion. Some of y'all probably found out something. Like through the grapevine, you found out something and you realized what the hell this person was about. And I noticed 808 uh, on the phone. So if this was a person that acted like they had shit, maybe someone told you, you know what, they really don't. Uh, again, emperor and empresses. the people they listen to are the king and queen of swords energy. The people that actually, you know... They pay for their advice. So someone could have had their accountant or their lawyer looking in on somebody and being, hey, you know what? They don't have all the shit that they say they got. So you want to keep that shit in mind. Yeah, for some of you, this could just be how this person operated. They just went from one empress or emperor to another I think you're going to find this out before you get a little too invested. So watch anybody that you meet. And this doesn't have to be a lover. This could be a business partner, right? This could be someone that you plan on working with. Just pay attention. They could wine and dine a person to get them on board and then bam, take everything that they fucking got. Uh, so you're going to get the light shown on a situation. Long before you have a chance to get anywhere involved with this person. Spirit's going to let you see. Now, this doesn't have to be a relationship. For some of you, it could be. If you started dating somebody, some of you, this is a business partnership. Yeah. Ooh, I heard it through the grapevine. Maybe some of you, your business colleagues are like, yeah, you know, we heard about this person. They, they dealt with so-and-so and they took them for their fucking money. So that could be what you're finding out. 
Uh, this person wanted to take what the fuck was yours physically. So this is a person that come in, this emperor or empress, and whatever you had, they immediately wanted access to it. So, you know, that's like, hey, you know, give us the sign over this account or just do this or, you know, let's combine. But they didn't have shit. But some of y'all going to find this out. Some of y'all going to find this shit out. So you're dealing with a fake emperor or a fake empress. So anyone, watch any contracts that you sign. Watch anyone that you deal with. For some of you, you know, maybe look at any past transactions that they've done with people. Check out any past business associates that they've dealt with. Uh, just kind of do a check on this person to see what's up. Some of you could hire an investigator or have your lawyer or accountant look into it. I, hey, I got this business opportunity. What do you know about this person? What What do you know? Um, so don't make any major decisions right now until you have the proper people look into something. You're going to get the clarity that you need before it gets, uh, I think, a little too far out of hand. So I don't want you to worry too much. Just be mindful. If they try to come in and take what the fuck is yours, uh, for some of you, this could even be like a business rival right if someone gets a bright idea to come in and work with you and then you could realize that yeah you know they don't quite play fair uh so just be mindful of that it's like once this person gets their foot in the door they just kind of take over wherever the hell they're at you know what i mean anything else libra needs to know Yeah, this person wears a false mask, and this person is coming at you, and they got they got some issues. They got some issues going up, so they don't want you to look too closely into something, because this person's wearing a mask. So this person presents one way. For some of you, it could be like a, a, a business opportunity. You know, they present this beautiful image, this beautiful product, but for some of you, there could still be some litigation going on around this. So just pay attention to that. Some of y'all, emperors and empresses, get your king and queen of swords on this, okay, before you invest. You know, they, they present, for some of you, it could be something that isn't even in production, right? They could just have a few mock-up models trying to get you on board with purchasing. And, uh, you know, it's really not. It's like a shell company. Um, as in, you know, just, just a, a fake front. Or what the hell they, they try to sell or offer. Some of you, this is definitely a business opportunity. But for some of you, there, there could still be some, you know, some litigation going on in the background. So take that how that resonates there, Libras. Just don't invest in something until you really look into it. You know what I mean? Because um, a true emperor or empress won't, won't infringe on your sort of territory, right? You take care of yours, they take care of theirs. And together you guys kind of combine. But you still keep your shit separate. Okay? That's just smart. Libras. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ling a ling. Definitely when it comes to like orders or something. So someone could be trying to get you to purchase uh, some product or something. Uh, it's like, don't, because they could only have like three or four prototypes made up and they're showing you that, but they cannot come through with offers. They just want to get the money and run. So, uh, just be very mindful. This does feel more business related than romantic, but you know, take it how it resonates in your, uh, situation there, Libras. Peace, love, and light.